Hello people of the internet, I'm the Gaming Lemon and welcome to a commentary on Modern Warfare 3 on uh, basically my impressions of the game, what I think of the game basically if if I think you guys should buy it or not uh, you know all that stuff so I, I wasn't planning on doing this but someone in the comments on my recent Sims video said that Sims is getting a bit boring uh, why, why not try some uh, Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, and I thought, yeah, right, because, um, I've said this many times before, anything that you guys say you want me to do, I will do, anything, so that's like, well, idea for video, like someone just did now, because, um, I wouldn't be doing this if, if he didn't say it, so, um, yeah, I, I will do whatever you tell me to do, guys, like, in the next Let's Play part, if you want me to do something, I will do that, anyway, so let's get started, so, a quick answer, it's this quick answer first. This COD is the best Call of Duty since co like the first Modern Warfare COD 4. It's a mixture of COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2, which is amazing. Um, so it's 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 just a game I've been waiting for because I've been I I wasn't as hyped for this because I didn't think it was going to be that good. I thought it was going to be disappointed, but this was actually pretty good. I'm really, really enjoying it so far. So, like, I, I'm more excited to play this than I am for Battlefield because it's, I don't know, I just, it's just more exciting to play than Battlefield. It's just hectic and fun and short space. Like, the campaign, I've only played two missions, but that's because I'm playing it on Veteran. Uh, so far, it's incredible. Like, the, the destruction and all the actions in it. All, all, the Call of Duty campaigns are always amazing. Like, they never let me down, the campaigns. Multiplayer sometimes, but the campaigns are always brilliant. Even in Black Ops, that was I think that was my best so far, but this one might beat it. And Spec Ops Survival Mode, that is absolutely amazing. So much better than Zombies. I hated Zombies, but I love Spec Ops Survival Mode. And Spec Ops Mission Modes. Uh, I haven't done Carp with it yet, but I really want to, because oh, I got to Wave 20 on this map, actually. On uh, Solo. I thought it was pretty good, but then my friend B in got to 26, and now I feel not special. <laughs> so, um, the kill streaks, which was a lot of people are worried about, they're not overpowered at all. Like, m most of the time, there'll be like two helicopters or something in the air, and that'll be it for the whole game. Like, that kill streak there is, um, that kill streak I just played there, I didn't know what it was. It's like four bouncing Bettys, but they're not annoying. The kill streaks just aren't annoying, they're just not. The attack helicopters are a bit more like, what's it, better than the ones in Modern Warfare 2. And the AC-130s and chopper gunners, like, they, they take more kills to get, like, chopper gunner is 17 kills to get. And now it's, um, it's, it's not even as good as it was, so that's good, that's good. Um, so there's nothing overpowered. Oh, maybe the knifing system is, because panic knifing is still in the game, and it's a lot worse. Like, the melee distance is, like, half commando-ish. It's... It's pretty annoying. That's the only thing I found annoying about the game. I, I didn't like the game at the beginning because I wasn't good at it. I wasn't used to it because I was playing Battlefield. I was rubbish. That's why I didn't like it. But now, I just love it. I mean, I think my best gun so far is the one I'm using right now, the ACR. It's just so, so accurate. It does so much damage, long range and short range, any range. It's just, oh, it's just so good. I do always do, I always do sick for that gun. I always get good gameplays. I think this is 25 and 5? 27 and 5, I think. I can't remember. You'll see at the end of the video. But, um, I, I just think that's a, I, I just love that gun. I just, I don't know. I think they did a really good job on this game. I mean, um, I think the maps, actually, the maps are a little too small. They're a lot smaller than the previous COD maps, but um, they're still fun and hectic. I just prefer them to be a lot bigger. But um, the, the snipers in this game, the, 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 I, I failed with that. I didn't even get a chance to use it, but um, the, I think the L11, the, I think it's called the L11. It's so good. Oh, it's, I think it's so much easier to use it in this game. I don't know why. It's definitely a lot better than Black Ops, this game. I really hope I don't get bored of it in a month or so because I'm really liking it at the moment. And and the kill confirm that game mode is my probably one of my favorite game modes. It's it's, a, it's the fastest way to level up if you do it correctly. Um, because it's 50p for getting a kill, 50p for confirming kill, 50p for denying a kill. 
I'm right here, look. I I don't know why. I just decide to take out the assault drone. It's such a good kill streak. Like you can see it on the map, like wherever it goes. So it's very easy to run away from it. It's not overpowered or anything. It's re it's really good. It's, it's I haven't got it yet, but I saw some gameplay of it. And it's really it's, what it's, it's sick. Um, w one more complaint I have about it. It's and the glitches, the the little glitches, the bugs from Modern Warfare 2 are still in this game. Like in a final game winning kill where it was zoomed in a bit. If you, if you ever played it as much, like. Sometimes a game winning kill will be zoomed in too much. I don't, I don't know. And it's still here. And like, when in a kill cam you're reloading and then you respawn, like in Modern Warfare 2, like, um, in a kill cam, the guy with the same gun you've got reloads and then you skip it. Then when you spawn, you reload the gun straight away like it was continuing from it. And that's still in this game as well. So they're being a bit lazy with that. I, I don't know, it's it's kind of a Modern Warfare 2.5, but it isn't. It just doesn't feel like Modern Warfare 2, it feels like COD 4. And Modern Warfare, it's, it, like I said before, it's a mixture like of the games. But how, how much more have I got left to talk? One minute. <sighs> so, yeah, I, I personally think that, I don't know, if you're a hardcore COD fan, then yeah, I get the game, obviously. But if you're not, if you're thinking of getting it, I'm not too sure, because... Right now, like, everyone says this about every single COD, saying, like, oh, it's the best COD in the game, they outdone themselves. But then, a month later, it starts to get really bad. I really hope that doesn't happen with this one, because I'm really liking it at the moment. Like, in Modern Warfare 2, that wasn't the case. It, was, it wasn't overpowered. So, my overall opinion, the game is amazing. Best COD since COD 4, but it still doesn't beat it. It's, COD 4 is still the best game, in my opinion. Campaign, Spec Ops, and of course multiplayer are all a spectacular hit to the game. Although there is not not too much improvement, and the same engine is used in the game, uh, it still feels a lot different to Modern Warfare 2. It's, I don't know, I don't get it. So I can see myself playing this for years to come, like Quad 4 was, and still today. So I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10, I'd say. Not 9.5 out of 10. It would be a full 10 if they did a little more improvement on it. So, that's my opinion. I think you, if you're a hardcore fan and get the game, but if you're not, uh, I don't know, I, don't, I can't answer that. I, I think you should get the game, but just wait till another month until and then hear what people say. Okay, so this has been The Gaming Lemon. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like on our favourite, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, Lemon out.